Hi everyone and welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and once again we have a special guest in the studio. This is Christy from WD. How are you doing Christy? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for coming by today. Absolutely. And uh, you have brought a WD N900, uh, uh, MyNet N900 Central, which is not just a router, it is a... Storage router. It's a storage router. It is uh, WD's N900 router with uh, either one or two terabytes, depending on the version you get, mm -hmm. uh, hard drive built in, which adds a lot of functionality, uh, turns it into something of a NAS, something of a streaming device, uh, and, and it's really cool. So I'm going to let Christy talk more about this because she knows a lot more about it than I do. Uh, but why don't we start off with uh, some more details from the box. Sure. As you were saying, this is a uh, MyNet N900 router. So on a previous video, we discussed all the features and the great wireless speeds that we have with the N900 uh, product. So this product takes all of that great speed and also combines it with storage for wireless backup. So with the MyNet N900, you get up to 450 megabits per, per second on both of the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. It has four gigabit ports on the back, one USB port, and of course the one or two terabyte storage that is inside the product. And that is a Western Digital hard drive. That is a Western Digital Inside. Hard drive. It's 2.5 inch, I had to ask. So it's the smaller hard drive, so um, not too heavy, of course, but I'm getting into other details of it. Uh, let's look here at the side of the box. Uh, there's some basic setup information. It's pretty easy. One, two, three. Set up, power up. Start here, power up, and connect. Uh, you also have 24-7 uh, customer support from Western Digital included with this product. And uh, flipping around to the back here, we have some abstracts uh, just sort of talking about uh, packet prioritization. And that's one of the big features of this router. It's Fast Track Plus. So what is the plus in Fast Track Plus? So as on the MyNet N900, this comes with our exclusive prioritization technology that's called Fast Track Plus. And what it does is it accelerates all the streaming to your Wi-Fi devices by automatically prioritizing the entertainment that's coming in and streaming it seamlessly to all those devices. It will look at your traffic coming in in real time, analyzing what that is, and make sure it gets the bandwidth that's needed so that you don't have any interruptions in your streaming. Okay, and uh, I like the visualization that's shown right here, uh, which is sort of the bigger bar, the green bar, uh, which has video games as well as uh, video chat, or uh, for instance, Skype, something like that. And then progressively smaller bars as you get to photos and music, and then finally files, uh, email, basic internet access. So you want more bandwidth for these types of activities because if you're playing a game, you don't want dropped packets or you don't want slower connection because you have other conflicting traffic on your network. Same thing if you're uh, on a video call with somebody or if you're watching a streaming movie, for example. That said, uh, why don't we get into the device itself. Uh, we'll go over some of the accessories and then we'll actually get into the setup. So here's a quick look at everything that comes in the box. You have a warranty card information right there in that packet. You also have a start here pamphlet, which is where you should start. Uh, that sort of, again, takes you through the basic one, two, three setup. Uh, if you want to do a browser-based setup there, uh, or also for Windows down here, we're actually going to show you how to set up this router with a tablet in just a moment. You also have a setup and resource disk right here, so you can use that with your computer to get the router set up and going. Uh, you also have an included RJ45 cable here, so you can plug that from the router to your um, modem that you have at home. That's usually provided by your internet service provider. And you also, also have an AC adapter cable, so you plug that in to provide power, of course. We have another AC adapter cable that we've already plugged in here so that the lights will turn on because uh, we also wanted to give you guys a closer look at the MyNet N900 Central itself. So here's the router, and Christy's going to walk us through all the features of the hardware. Thank you. So, on the front here, you have your um, LEDs light up power, Wi-Fi, internet. Um, this is your um, WPS, the status of that, which is Wi-Fi protected setup. And then you have your storage icon here, um, the WPS button to actually set up and configure through WPS. The button is here on the front of the device. Oh, also, so we wanted to point out the design aesthetic right here across the top. Right, so um, we have this unique design um, for all of our WD branded products that is called our uh, data pattern on the front, so it gives it a very sleek feel. We also have a, a metallic charcoal gray box, which I realize on video might be a little hard to see. <laughs> and then we have all the ports and plugs at the back. 
So here on the back, you have your power on off switch. You have your uh, AC adapter there. There's four gigabit ports across the back and then your internet, which goes in through your modem. And then one USB port um, there on the back as well. Also, there is a Kensington lock here on this side, uh, which you can use if you have a Kensington lock, uh, which might be important for a router. You might not always have those with the router, but since this one does have an integrated uh, uh, hard drive that you might have important data stored on, it gives you a little bit of extra security. All right, guys, so next up, we are going to go through a uh, basic setup procedure for the uh, MyNet N900 Central. We're going to be using a tablet. In this case, we have an iPad, and uh, all we've done at this point uh, is plugged the router into our modem and uh, we've plugged the power in and turned the power on and then we will use the iPad to connect to the router. So as soon as you plug in uh, the router so that it has power and you've turned on the on button you'll be able to see that Western Digital as an open network comes up so you'd want to connect your device that you're using to set up your network to that Western Digital open network as we have done here. Then you'd want to close that out and you're going to go into your browser, in this case this would be Safari and instantly you get to our setup wizard. So it's, a, it's extremely easy and a one, two, three type of thing. Um, when you hit continue, it will take you, make sure that you've cabled up your router correctly. So you wanna make sure that you have your, um, the yellow cable that comes with your router plugged into the internet, the yellow internet port on the back of the router into your um, modem to make sure that you're getting internet access, which if you've just connected to the Western Digital Open Browser, you would know that that's already connected Should be good to um, go. <laughs> correctly. If you want to do this wired, um, you could also take another ethernet cable and plug that directly into a laptop or PC um, if you wanted to do this wired, but okay. we are going to do wireless today. So you are going to use your first click next, which is here. And it will then show that your computer or tablet or device has found the router. It's now found the internet. And so then that way you can click next again so that all of that has been cabled up correctly. And right now your internet connection is successful. Your Mina N900 Central is now ready and connected to the internet. And next up is this, uh, so this is the web interface being logged into the router and uh, there's some additional functions that you can access from this point. So from here, you need to then click next, and you're going to go ahead and secure your router. Oh, okay. Security. That's very important. Security. So when you click next, it will bring you to a screen where you can um, keep these network names, um, or you can customize your own, uh, whatever that's easy for you to remember. So when you're connecting other devices, you know your network. Mm -hmm. um, for right now, we're going to keep this as Western Digital here. We have it so that you can um, name your 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz band. So if you want to specifically connect to 5 gigahertz, it's easy for you to find in your Wi-Fi drop-down boxes. Okay. So once you click save and your security settings are taken into effect, you'll come to the MyNet dashboard. This is where you can customize your network. You can access your parental controls, you can set up your guest network, um, you can map your storage drives if you have additional um, that are plugged into the router. So this is also where you can set up your remote access. So the very cool thing with, uh, with Western Digital uh, re personal cloud storage is we have our remote access apps, WD2Go and WD Photos, which um, you can then put on these on our storage router as well. And that will allow you to, let's say you're on the go on vacation anywhere with an internet connection, you can log into your home router and access the data there? Absolutely. Fantastic. So you'd be able to see all of your photos, you can share, you can also give access to other people. Like my father has access to um, my storage router at home with wd to go and WD Photos and he can go in and see pictures of my daughter at any given time once I've uploaded photos to my, my Net N900 Central. Awesome. Yeah. So next up, uh, once you have the N900 Central set up and good to go, if you wanted to access that, say, from a mobile device, uh, Android or iOS device like an iPad, uh, mm -hmm. how would you go about doing that? So after you installed the wd to go or WD Photos app, you would then be able to click on this and you now have all access to your connected drive at home. So go to connect now and this is actually connected to our Mina N900 Central. And once you click on that and you go into your shared folders, you can see pictures, videos, whatever else that you have and you can um, 
scan through all of your photos, share uh, whoever wants to see them. You can also, what's really cool with WD2Go is you can actually clip any of the files. So say there's a movie that's on your storage drive and you want to take that on an airplane, you can clip it so that it doesn't actually use the data or the storage that's on your mobile device like mm. your iPad or other tablet and you'll be able to watch it on the plane without having to use excess storage. Very nice. Next up here is uh, just sort of an, an overview of the web-based dashboard that you can use to control the MyNet N900 Central. Yes, so in our MyNet dashboard, we have your um, easy access to your current settings. If you wanted to reset any of your, um, either your passwords or anything, you could connect right back to that. We have your um, set up the wireless. We also have, you can add devices here your remote access with which we just spoke about, and then advanced settings. So we're going to go ahead and click on the advanced settings so that you can see what other great stuff that the MyNet dashboard has. And this gives you access to your WAN, wireless LAN, um, obviously storage if you have additional um, storage drives that you are plugging into it, including control over the internal hard drive that comes in the product. Um, you can do additional security features here, again, more granular on the remote access, as well as um, getting into our fast track uh, fast track plus automatically comes on when you purchase the product so it's always enabled so if you wanted to take a closer look at how fast track um, operates you can see it in action here's a quick demo of fast track plus in action we have two ipads the wd router on the right a competing router on the left this is a crowded network with a lot of traffic going on and as you can see on the right side uh, with the streaming video priority, it's going to load up the video more quickly. The video playback is going to be smoother, and you'll also notice that they're able to achieve a higher resolution due to the greater bandwidth applied through the router. And that's going to wrap it up for this video, everyone. Once again, this has been the WD MyNet N900 Central, the all-in-one router plus internal storage for automatic backup and remote access. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. We would once again like to thank Christy from WD for stopping by today. Thanks for having me. And uh, if you guys would like to see more tech videos, you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.